Here's some nopales that we're going to take off all the spines for tomorrow, for tomorrow's breakfast. Okay, this is how I do it. This is how I take them off. I don't just scrape everything like that because sometimes you could leave some behind and they'll just, when they'll get on your tongue and it's really hard and they hurt. So you need to be careful, very careful and take them all off. You don't just go with a knife like this. You gotta take, make sure they're all off, that you don't have any. You need to account for every, every spine. Turn it around. There, we did that part. And then with this spoon, I'll do this. I'll even do the, I can use a knife. But I'm trying out this spoon. See how it works. I, I like how it works. All right. There we go. Because it has a... It's sharp all around. So it works pretty good. And it doesn't take out a lot of the... Nopal. You get relatively... You're, the, you're not wasting it. It's all there. And here, you can just cut off my little tape. And you're done with that one. Have another one here. And you can use a knife and it will be okay. You can use a knife. But I like to use a spoon. This is my spoon I like to use, and uh, there we go. Try and take off all the spinas, all of them. Sometimes when you take one off, one off, you didn't take it off right. It leaves behind part of the spine, so you need to be very careful. Very careful you get it completely off. Okay. There we go. This one. You can make this with eggs. Some people boil them. And then they cook them with eggs, tomatoes, whatever they're going to use. But I don't boil them first because I don't want all the nutrition to be boiled out of it. So I don't boil them. You cook them with onion, tomato, purslane, a little bit of rosemary, a little bit of um, basil, a little bit of salt. You can put in whatever you like. Cook them on low for a little bit or or throw them in a shake. You see there's no there's no spinas. No spinas. That's what you want. You don't want any spinas. You have to account for all the spinas. You don't want to give somebody a spina and it's gonna hurt their tongue later. You have to be very careful. I'm going to do one more. Look at this. This big, but it's very flexible. It's really good. Okay, here we go. Mm-hmm. There you go. And get them all. Don't leave any. Half ones even. There we go. I think I broke this one. And I pulled it. Okay. See that? Turn it around.
You can go faster if you want. I'm doing it slow so you can see, but you can go faster if you want it. Just be careful because you know where all the spines are. Don't miss them. Okay, now we're going to do the cor the corners. This is a really good nopales, this one. Um, this one is doesn't have a lot of spines. And it's very fleshy. It's not all thin without any uh, nopal on it. It's got a lot of nopal on it. So you can make a really good meal. And you don't need so as many. It doesn't have as many here at the top either. As you can see. Well, I think I put it up too much. Well, anyway, you can see that part. Okay. There we go. Get cut that off. We'll trim this so it can be fresher. There we go. And just cut this bottom off and finish this. There we go. Make sure it don't have any spinal spines. There you go. That's pretty clean. Hmm. That's the way it's supposed to be. Now with all spines dug in wherever. When you went like this really fast with a knife. I'm going to do this one. Oh, they're really fresh. Very, very fresh. Mm -hmm. There we go. Start off. There. Can you see in the camera? There you go. Okay. There we go. Account for all the spinas. Always get it where... Put your fingers spaces where there's no spinas. There's always a space for your fingers. There's always a space. There's always space for your fingers so you don't get any on you. Okay, there we go. I have a friend who takes up all the spines, she takes them off with her fingernails. She has long fingernails. She takes all of them off like this. She'll pinch them off. Pinch them off with her long nails. Pinch them off. She'll pinch them off with her long nails. She'll pinch them off. Pinch them off with her long nails. And she does that all the time. She's really fast. Maybe if I had long nails, I could do it. Probably would. Just sit down and draw your nopales right away. Count for all your spines. Account for all of them. Don't drop any on the floor if you're doing it inside. Don't leave any on the table. Clean up your area really good. There we go. See that? Pretty good. This is also a superfood. So you can make this. The best best way I think would be to eat it in a smoothie or or in a salad with uh, like uh, pico de gallo. Pico de gallo. You add tomato, onion, a little bit of lemon, salt. Anything, any other greens you would want to put in there. And this cut it into little squares, tiny squares, little squares. And put it in there. Sometimes people don't even know it would be in there. They would, And if people don't like it or they don't want to try something new, they wouldn't even know. But it's in there and it would be good for, for everybody overall. 
Well, this is the last one I'm going to make. I have a ton more to, to peel. So I uh, just wanted to let you know. Don't leave any spinas on the nopales. Clean them really good. Okay. Thank you. I'll leave a description where you can get this spoon. Thank you.